All right, this is for my players, for you guys. Um, first, I want to say I, I have been looking forward to this session coming up like no tomorrow. Uh, you guys really <laughs> have challenged me in a good way, and I like it. So, Scott, hopefully we're going to have you back. Um, we're still going to try to televise and do the recording of it, so it means um, if Paul can bring a camera, it will help tremendously uh, to allow me to do that. Um, I do want to say, and, and Scott, I'm going to say this to you, I am sorry if the chiding and the joking was very negative. I know we kind of teased a little bit with you not being there in your character. And in thinking about it as a GM, as I sat there, I thought, you know, even poking fun in a good way, it can be very negative and very derisive. And I'm very sorry if that's the way you took it. Because I should have thought about that before I said anything. And to the rest of you guys, I know I kind of egged it a little bit. And <sighs> I hate doing that, you know, and sitting and thinking on things. It gave me a little time to think. Um, Look, we enjoy Cal El. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. He's a good character. He's a good guy. We have a good guy playing him. I know we kind of give you a little bit of heck about some of the ways you play him and some of the ways you played some other ones. You know, even so, we love having you, and I don't want you to ever feel like you're not welcome and you're not the right player for the group. You've been with me a long time, my friend, and you are definitely a major part of this group and a huge, 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 huge factor in it. So that's the first thing I want to say before I get into the gaming things. Um, so gaming tomorrow. Exciting. Uh, we've got Daru Thrust ahead of you. That's how it's pronounced. Daru Thrust. Daru Thrust is a city that appears empty. And there is a bridge that looks to be an old bridge. You guys have done some little bit of knowledge in your mind, and you've figured out that it is Cyclopean in background. And that there's a, a par portion of the expanse that is missing, about a quarter of a mile in the center. Now, I want to clarify. If I said anything else, it is a quarter of a mile in the center that does not exist. It fell. So it's no longer there. Uh, one thing you noted at the bottom, as you guys look down at the, the crevasse as you were heading towards the city, there's a lot of white gleaming. And after a while, you figured out those are bones of people. Uh, the, psych, uh, the, the centaurs have told you, the Rishoka tribe, that basically the humans were here. They had plagues, and part of the human population there in order to get rid of the plague victims threw them off into the crevasse and uh, not fun. The crevasse is three miles down. It's a very very deep fall if you end up falling off. Um, there is some things that you noticed and this is one thing I want to bring up before you guys go into it. You guys notice some gleam of bones in the side of either side of the crevasse looks like somebody got planted into the sides of each. You heard the howl of wind whipping through the crevasse and could almost feel some of the effects on the outer ends of it. Yeah, it, there's clues in that that you guys have to think about a little bit. The city you stayed outside of, now you've got a feeling, just a feeling of overall sorrow, anger, and loss. It is a very just chilling place to be near. However, the party has decided that this would be beneficial for them to go to get some items that may help with getting to Baba Yaga. And so, this is the closest ruins to you guys that you can do this. There are no populated cities near you. Mern Bay is the closest, and that is about another two days travel south on the bay. And yes, it would give you, afford you a lot of things because it is a port of call. Um, but you don't know what. Uh, the mix of cultures that you guys can see from camping at the night outside of, you took the rest of the day and the evening and night to camp outside the city. It's a mix of both the people of this land. You see a little bit that may be Kelishite in background. 
And then the other parts are the old, old ruins that you can tell date back to the Cyclopses. Now, that throws you a little bit because you knew the Cyclopses existed in Golgon, which is down near the Shackle Isles, down near Garand. And a lot of that empire sank. But finding it up here, hmm, a little more unique, something interesting. Uh, again, the Rushalka left you. And they wished you well and told you to come back through when you guys were finished. And they'd take you up to um, to where you guys are headed, which is the statue of the or the the monuments of the mother maidens and crone. And so you guys are headed there afterwards. It ought to be an exciting time. I'd say come prepared. Let me know what's what spells you studied for the night before. I give you guys pretty open reign at the beginning before, when we start to tell me what you studied and put tick marks by them so you have them. Um, you guys won't be able to do any trading. The rest was not totally resting. So to do crafting, hmm, you'll probably get about three hours to four hours of craft time because it's just the whole thing is unsettling here. There's something just not right about it. So keep that in mind. I wanted to give you guys an, a little preamble intro. Uh, there's a lot here. The city, the city looks to be, it's not a true city. It's between a small town that grew into a large town. It looked like uh, there are lots of merchant shops and, and homes that are in the area. And uh, there is a garrison that is near the um, actual towers. And it looks like maybe a tavern up that way from what you could spy. It's pretty good size. Uh, it's not huge. Um, but it's big enough that you guys will have to traverse through it. And um, during the night, you just you heard voices and things. Maybe it's your imagination just because of trying to imagine everything you don't know. Um, so, Scott, when you were brought back, you came back from a very traumatic experience. And we can talk about it a little bit more when he brought you back. Normally, in a normal place, in a normal thing, no big deal. Here, because of where you were, <laughs> and, and Paul doing it the way he did, you are extra paranoid. And yes, it is a mental condition. And so you're extra, extra paranoid. Keep that in mind. This could have been anybody, not just you, that would have been brought back. So I wanted to let you know that. Uh, looking forward to it, guys. We'll start tomorrow sharp at uh, 1030 be there about 10 so we can get everything set up and ready to go. Looking forward to you guys being there and having a lot of fun. Cliff, going to be good to have you there again. Uh, again, for those, for Cliff who's coming up, if you're taking 75, 75 to Spring Creek, take a left on Spring Creek, take Spring Creek all the way down to Round Rock, you'll take an immediate right on Round Rock, and then a left into Hunter's Glen Apartments, and then you'll know from there where to park. Now, you guys, one of you guys can park by our white Nissan Sentra down there under the covered parking. We do have the covered parking that is to the left of the apartment. So it's kind of the end portion of that covered parking. So you can park one car in there if you guys want. All right. Thanks, and looking forward to it, guys. Yay.